For Wrestling Observer Live, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Let me read this, everybody. Mm. There were slices of good news. This begins at WrestlingObserver.com. <laughs> Bro. It was mostly very bad news when it came to Raw's ratings on Monday night. I'd like to preface this, by the way, before I go any further. The NXT numbers on Wednesday are pretty much pre-pandemic. So, the first guy that calls in today that tries to explain that this is all because of the pandemic. If there wasn't a pandemic and wrestlers doing matches in an empty building, Raw would be doing so much better. Well, NXT, NXT of all shows, is it pre-pandemic levels. So, it's not the pandemic. If it were the if it were pandemic, then NXT would be down as much as Raw is down right now, which it's not. Okay. Also, every single time there's a new low for Raw, I get all the weirdos telling me everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. It actually gets funnier by the week because now we're at the all time low. Do you realize how long Monday Night Raw has been on the air on Monday nights? Like, I was in high school. I'm 45 years old now. I was 17 years old when Monday Night Raw debuted. And it has been on Mondays in the same time slot since I was 17 years old and I'm 45 now, okay? Monday, it hit the all-time low, and I'm still hearing from people telling me everything is fine. Listen, I don't want Raw to be canceled. I don't want WWE to go out of business, but there is part of me that wishes that Raw would achieve zero viewers, none, so I could still have somebody tell me that everything is all right. Raw did 1.56 million viewers. The lowest in modern history. And it appears the lowest in all time history. That's not, by the way, the first hour or the third hour. That's all three hours. 18 to 49, the show averaged a 0.48. So for those of you that want to talk about the demos, the second lowest in the entire history of the program. Previous record audience low, May 4th which did 1.68 million viewers and 8.46 in the 18 to 49 demo. So, by the way, the previous low viewership was 1.68 million. This was 1.56 million. They crushed their previous low. Good news! You're number one! The positives are that the audience skewed number uh, lower. What a positive. The demo number only down 2% from last week, while the overall viewers were down 7%. The other positive, although it says and negative, relates to the audience drop. The second hour beat the first hour, so we had 1.58 million in the, in the first hour, 1.60 million in the second hour, and 1.50 million in the third hour. So the audience was up in hour two. Although, let me tell you something. In the old days, before people stopped caring about this program, whenever summertime hit, the second hour was always higher rated than the first hour. Because people play outside longer, and then they come in and they watch hour two. This was a thing, like the moment you switched over your daylight savings time, the moment you switched, the first hour and second hour would flip-flop as to which was the higher rated hour. Now, it's like it happens once. Now it's like an aberration. And that's, quote, good news. Third hour, 1.50 million. So, dude, they barely were above the 1.4 millions for the third hour of Raw. Remember when Impact used to always get a, a 1.1 rating and 1.5 million viewers? It was like a joke for decades. They could never grow. Well, that's where the third hour of Raw is at right now. What used to be a joke involving Impact Wrestling. So there you go. It's wretched. It's horrible. There's no defense of this number. It's as bad as it gets. 
until it gets lower. I remember you once saying it can't get any worse, but it did. And it, it could get much worse. Who knows? And tonight, we'll see. You know, uh, you talked about NXT and and possibly AEW demographically doing well against Raw. But uh, there is a, a NASCAR race tonight. There are, I guess, some other things going on that are I are guess some to... other things. There's a UFC on ESPN. On ESPN. Not That's... even ESPN+. Plus. And it's not a big show or anything like that, but it's a UFC on ESPN, and that has proven to be dividends for both sides of that. I mean, it's just with a lack of programming going on. It's like I guess you could turn on ESPN too and watch like the Johnsonville Brats, you know, cornhole tournament uh, or the the million dollar basketball gimmick thing that they were doing, or watch you know two people fight live in, in an actual sport. So. You know, it's who who knows how tonight will go. But when it comes to Raw, I mean, we talk about it every week. These are just chickens that have come home to roost on top of the fact that we're in a pandemic right now and habits have changed and priorities have changed. It's that simple. They're not putting on a product that people have been invested in and people have been drawn to. And at some point, they were going to further slip on a banana peel. And unfortunately for them, a global pandemic hit that really screwed everything up for him so you reap what you sow that way we can keep beating this into the ground about raw on monday but there's a reason i didn't talk about it i mean wash rinse repeat these things again it's what change is talking about raw we're doing this every single week it's the same conversation actually the conversation is different because it's not the same every week we're in it's dropping all every week. time Low. But Brian, it has been dropping every week, and this is what I said yeah, a while history. back. It could get worse. It could get worse, and it, it may get worse, and now it can't get any worse. Yes. Yes, it can get worse, and it has well, gotten worse. As it continues to get worse, I will continue to talk about it. It's like if I didn't talk about WCW when they continue to get worse, because they continue to get worse every week. Eventually, they died. Now, I don't expect WWE to die anytime soon, but do you realize that I think it was Brandon Thurston had this chart, and he was looking at the various USA Network shows and how they were doing in terms of of 18 to 49 and in terms of their total viewership. And NXT is like square in the middle, and there are shows that have done... Actually, pretty much every show that is doing worse than NXT has been canceled, and there are shows that are doing better than NXT that have been canceled. So, obviously, Raw is fine, because Raw is at the extreme other end. Like, they're, they're the outlier on the USA Network. Like, as bad as Raw is doing, I mean, they're, they're holding up the USA Network. But guess what? NXT isn't. NXT is square in the middle. And they are at pre-pandemic levels. But, yeah. you know, it was noted tonight, they're going up against NASCAR. The last time they went up against NASCAR, I think it was two times ago. Two times ago, when they went up against a big NASCAR race, they got slaughtered. And both AEW and NXT got slaughtered the last time they went up against UFC. So you got a double whammy tonight. Very unlikely that they're beating Raw. But dude, everything is fine with Raw in terms of are they in danger of being canceled and losing their TV deal. But like, don't think that just because NXT is a WWE product that they cannot be canceled. I mean, we can make a list of WWE shows that have in fact been canceled. There have been many of them. They were on... UPN or, or you know, WGN. whatever, WGN, and they didn't do well, and they got canceled. Yeah, we True, but here's the thing with, with NXT on USA right now is USA is at a real lack of programming, and that actually is what it comes down to, I think. That's what saves them more than being a WWE product. I mean, obviously that helps, but the fact is USA, as soon as they start cranking out some programming like they had a couple of years ago, if they can get that then we won't be talking about NXT and we'll be seeing that shift somewhere else back on the network, whatever it would be. But that's a USA failing. And fortunately, these two are in you know trouble right now as far as really needing each other and both of them on slippery slopes.